Happy Canada Day! Joyeuse fête du Canada! We begin, of course, by acknowledging that we are gathered on the traditional territory of the Algonquin people. My friends, what a pleasure it is to be with you here today to celebrate Canada and Canadians. Canada Day on Parliament Hill is something of a tradition for many of us, and I couldn't be happier to be back with you again this year. Because last year, as you might remember, we decided to do things a little bit differently. We started the day in Leamington, Ontario, before heading to Regina, Saskatchewan, and ending in Dawson City, Yukon. Bon, certains pensent que peut-être on a choisi de terminer la journée à Dawson City parce que le soleil se couche après minuit et les gens fêtent tard. Mais c'était pas seulement pour ça qu'on a fait le voyage. Plusieurs se souviendront que quand, quelques semaines avant la fête du Canada, le gouvernement américain avait annoncé son intention d'imposer des tarifs sur l'acier et l'aluminium canadien. The steel and aluminum tariffs created a lot of uncertainty for thousands of people, so last year's celebrations were bittersweet for many communities. But in Leamington, in Regina, and in Dawson City, we actually witnessed something very special and very Canadian. We saw people being there for each other during tough times. Neighbors organizing community dinners, friends checking in with each other, grandparents coming to town to watch the kids and give the parents a break. And in the weeks that followed, a wave of solidarity swept across the country. We put up a united front, we leaned on each other, we had each other's backs, and we didn't get pushed around. It's not just what we do when the going gets tough. It's who we are as Canadians. My friends, this is a perfect example of what we can achieve when we lift each other up. Mais la façon dont nous nous sommes rassemblés pendant la dernière année ne devrait surprendre personne. Notre pays a été façonné par des gens qui s'épaulent, qui s'entraident et qui travaillent fort. Des gens qui choisissent la générosité, la compassion et l'espoir. Et c'est notre détermination à mettre ces valeurs en pratique au quotidien que fait la réussite de notre pays. Chaque jour, les Canadiens démontrent au reste du monde qu'une société multiculturelle et inclusive est une société forte. Une société résiliente, décidément tournée vers l'avenir et prête à relever les grands défis de notre époque que ce soit les changements climatiques, la réconciliation ou l'égalité des sexes. Canadians have so much to be proud of this year, and I'm not just talking, talking about the rafters. Since 2015, you've created one million jobs, the majority of which are full-time. As of this May, 85 long-term drinking water advisories have been lifted and 825,000 people, including almost 300,000 kids, are no longer living in poverty in Canada. This is who we are as Canadians. This is what we can do when we work together and look out for each other. As a country, it's important that we celebrate our accomplishments, that we take pride in how far we've come. But we can't forget that Canada did not happen by accident and won't continue without effort and hard work. We can and we must continue to make our country even better. We owe it to the parents picking up extra shifts to give their kids the best possible start in life. We owe it to the newcomer building a new life, to the teacher inspiring our kids, to the community leader trying to enact change. We owe it to Canadians who every day make this country stronger with acts of kindness, courage and compassion, both big and small. 
I have no doubt that together we can continue to build a country we can all be proud to call home. Profitons de cette journée pour célébrer le Canada, oui, mais surtout les Canadiens. Parce que c'est vous qui faites de notre pays le meilleur pays au monde. Happy Canada Day, everyone!